guys, welcome back to Little Piece of Heaven Farm. Um, today I'm going to build a new compost pile. And this right here is my old compost pile. And you can see cucumbers kind of took over on it. But uh, I don't want this compost pile here anymore in front of our greenhouse. I like to build a little planter area there and for some vegetables. And, plant area here for some vegetables next year. So I need to move this compost pile to a new location. I'm not going to get moved very far. There's my kiwis. Probably a couple more months. Anyhow, I'm going to use these old pilots. I'm going to build a compost pile right here. It's next to the, it's near the greenhouse, it's near the garden, so I'm not going to have far to put garden scraps in it or get compost out of it for the garden. And yeah, let's get going and get this built. bins all built. I'll probably put another pilot at the ends of these to make it longer. I made it this wide so my tractor bucket could fit in here, dump stuff into it or scoop stuff out or, or dig it up and turn it over. So let's get some compost and throw it in there. Move some of the compost I had over there by the greenhouse. The rest of it I'm going to leave there and push it around and use it as um, compost for my uh, planter. But as you can see, you see how good that composting is. This here is the onion tops. Some more garden debris. So uh, next up, I guess I'm going to go get some uh, manure over there by my uh, horses and goats shelter area, scoop that all up and bring it over here and throw in this compost. They say you should do the layer method, you know, brown, greens and whatnot. But the way I see it, you, you just got to use what you have available on your property. So I'm going to head up there by the animal shelter there. and scoop up their manure and throw this in here. And I did some uh, wood splitting earlier in the week. So there's a bunch of wood sawdust and chips and wood and bark laying on the ground there. I'm gonna scoop that up and throw that in here so it compost up. And any yard debris going here, kitchen scraps and so on. 
So let's go get some uh, animal manure. DJ, I'm out here by their, my horses and sheep, goats, ponies, shelter. I'm gonna scrape up all this manure. That pile there is from the llama. They, they seem to go in one area. Scrape all this up. All this right there is from the ponies. They seem to like to go in one area, which is great. It makes it easy to pick up. So I'm going to scrape all this up and take it down to the uh, compost bin that I just built.
up. Looks like all the animals came down here to see what's going on. down really good okay next up I'm gonna go get my uh, wood scraps that I got piled up after when I was cutting splitting wood up for the winter's wood stove so let's go ahead and get some of that and we'll throw that on here there's my wood splitter you can see all the debris underneath that I'm gonna pick up and throw it in the compost every year mother nature gives us firewood we get a lot of branches breaking off the trees. Some occasionally we get a blowdown, but usually it's just branches breaking off the trees. And there's our firewood, all thanks to Mother Nature. And some of them are like this right here, is from old fence. You gotta keep an eye on Craigslist. Sometimes you'll see free wood. It's usually fence material, old fence material that somebody tore down when you were building a new one. So I'm all ready for what winter brings. So let's go ahead and pick up the scraps. wood scraps in here. Turn that around some. Another thing you put in there, I, I got a couple of my buckets, these old ice cream plastic buckets being used to hold kitchen scraps. You know, it's got eggshells in it, coffee grinds, peelings, you know, potato peelings. Throw that up on top. And then I'll get the hose and I'm gonna water that in. Wise fall is here, but our trees still has their leaves on it, not even changing. So according to our weather around here, it's not really fall yet. It's warm, it's up in the 80s still. So eventually fall will get here and the trees will drop all their leaves and we'll gather them up and we'll throw them in the compost. And in the fall, you're gonna mostly have brown material uh, it, it'll still compost down, you know, we'll layer it up with some manure where I got this last manure from. I got a lot back there I can dig up. So, or I should say scoop up, I mean, not dig. So, uh, we'll probably sit here all winter and should be all composted down and ready to go by spring. Um, 
I'm in no hurry. I know a lot of people do a lot of things to it, but I'm in no big hurry. Just throw in a pile, let it do its thing, make sure it's got plenty of water. Keep feeding it, and here and now and then turn it. Probably every other week or so, maybe. Turn it. I'm probably gonna build another one of these on the other side of this. So if this gets too, I think I get too much in here, I can start working on another compost pile on the other side of this. Um, I think I think that's going to be it for this video. This is what I'm doing with my compost bin. I had to move it because it used to be over there in front of the new greenhouse, and, and I don't want it there in front of the new greenhouse. So I had some old pilots laying around, so I thought I'd build this up and, and use this as a compost bin. And I may add another pilot here. It all depends how much uh, organic matter I end up gathering up throughout my yards here and pastures and whatnot. Well, anyhow, thanks for um, stopping by and checking out my video, how I do or how I'm going to be doing my compost bins. Usually I just put it in the pile on the ground and let it be. But I see a lot of people use these pilots, and so I thought I'd give that a try. Might give it some variation probably. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.